Coming up in today's video, I cover 10 or so important tips to help you this year to grow your natural hair and most importantly for length retention. This year's focus on this channel is about retaining as much length as possible and you will find in today's video lots of hair growth tips, particularly if you feel like you cannot do this like myself, you've never had long hair. These tips will be very important in order to help us to reach our natural hair goals in 2024. I want to remind you as usual that it is possible to grow your natural hair and as you see these before and after pictures of my hair you will see someone who's never had long hair before indeed doing the same thing growing out their natural hair of course having struggles along the way and on this channel I share with you my ups and downs and I also give you lots of hair growth challenges to help you to motivate you to grow your natural hair long Welcome, welcome back to all my new and returning subscribers. I really appreciate you and every one of you stopping by my channel and checking out my content. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so, so much. Of course, I've talked on this channel that it's possible to grow your natural hair long. It doesn't matter who you are, but I've also emphasized that um, a lot of the hair that we do have that stays on our head is down to genetics. I stand by that point. However, there's lots of things we can do to retain the length that we have in our hair, even if we don't have so much genetics on our side. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about what the difference is between hair growth and length retention. Now, I've covered this in a lot of videos, particularly if you've been on my uh, any of my challenges, you would have found information on the difference between hair growth and length retention. And also, I've provided tons of hair growth tips for the past few years on this channel. So I've always talked about this at great length. Basically, if your hair grows from your scalp, and so on my mini braids challenges, when I did like a 12 week challenge, the amount of hair between my scalp and the hair that was plaited to the base of my scalp, that's the hair growth. After the challenge is over, I've combed through my hair and there's shed hair, that's the amount of hair that I have left on my head. That is what we call a length retention. So a lot of people tend to confuse hair growth and length retention. Um, and it's, it's not the same thing. So our hair is always growing, but the amount of hair that we retain, you know, gives us the amount of hair we have left. For example, if our hair is shoulder length, bra strap length, uh, waist length, that is the length of hair that we retain. We could be growing six to eight inches of hair, hair per year, but we only retain four inches. And so we're not seeing very much progress. And so we need to do a few things to help us along the way to grow out our natural hair and to retain as much length as possible. Length retention is what also keeps you at that length. For example, my hair is now between bra strap length and waist length. Now, I'm claiming waist length as well, but it's mainly at bra strap length. Now, to get to waist length, and once I'm at waist length, I'm going to have to keep that length. I'm going to have to maintain that length. That is also length retention. I do want to say everyone to everyone on this channel listening it is possible to grow your natural hair you can see my before and after pictures as stark evidence of that this is someone who never thought they could grow out their natural hair and here I am doing it. I really do hope you take some motivation from this video okay we're gonna start with uh, keeping our ends tucked away um, as you know our natural hair is a very fragile texture uh, unlike a lot of hair um, textures out there 4b 4c hair is very fragile it looks really tough but it's very fragile for that reason when our hair ends us out we may incur split ends they may be damaged and so I uh, through my challenges when I normally wear my hair out outside the challenges I always have my hair ends tucked under um, if your hair ends is tucked under the oldest part of your hair then you have a great chance of retaining the length of your hair that's also because it is the weaker part of your hair and what's more prone to breakage next tip for great length retention is having a great amount of moisture in your hair um, deep condition your hair having good conditioners such as hello hydration and i've covered that a lot on my channel and even leave-in conditioner you want to make sure that your hair is moisturized deep condition and making sure that you know it doesn't dry out too much because once again it is fragile and it will break off um, if you've been deep conditioning your hair overnight that would also weaken it through moisture overload or you gotta also check on the back of your moisturizers to make sure they don't contain too much 
protein in your deep conditioners because you could also be having protein overload so i recommend using hello hydration very cheap it's about two or three pounds in the uk and that can give you a good deep conditioning if left on your hair if of course if you have the money you can invest in the more expensive ones remember 20 minutes is enough to get a lot of moisture in your hand that will really help with length retention also scalp massages is great for having length retention once again that's more to do with growth so the hair that's coming between your scalp and say the mini braids for example but it will contribute for sometimes when we need to do these maintenance trims and um, it will give us back some of the length to maintain the length that we already have so i recommend scalp massages i've done a few videos showing you how i do the scalp massages on my own hair to help you if you're considering how you're going to do that the next tip is uh, to be consistent with your hair regimen. Now, I talk so much about hair care regimen in 2023. It's even got its own playlist on my channel. So go into the playlist section and check out how to formulate hair care regimen, particularly if you have no experience, if this, you know, you just go natural. There's plenty of hair regimens in there, simple hair care regimen. And I always advocate for keeping your regimen as simple as possible. Keep it simple, sisters, what we talk about here on this channel. Something that you're going to be able to do week by week, step by step, and, and something that you can maintain. Keep your routine as simple as possible. Uh, make sure that, you know, you are not trying to copy anyone else's routine or regimen and tailor it down to your hair needs, to your hair schedule, and make sure that it's something that you can do for the long term because you indeed you are going to need to maintain a routine in order to get good hair growth and also maintain the length that you've grown length retention if you're enjoying the tips so far if you've gotten so far in this video it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe to this channel thank you so so much there's a lot of information here in the playlist section also if you want to become a member of my channel you know that gives you access to other videos that i've created here gives you access to me you know any questions that you have any challenges that you're doing remember we've done mini braids challenges mini twist challenge we're currently doing a, a cornrow challenge and so i'm going through lots of different ways you can grow your natural hair but also there'll be products available there i've also got paid Patreon page and I've got recommendations of what I buy on my Amazon store also at the back of my YouTube page so check those all out to help you to grow your natural hair in 2024 picture that show you can see where i've had a nice trim on my hair for years i've been trying to even out my hair and that meant cutting off too much of a, of, of a good thing basically and so i've learned over the time that trims is my friend i've had really bad experiences at hairdressers for example where they've cut off too much of my hair and i thought to myself no i'm not going to go back and i'm going to maintain trims now for 2024 i'm going to stop using hair scissors and start to use hair shares the great thing is my husband has some so i'll be borrowing his ones to do that but that's just really a sharper blade to be able to get my hair ends to be nice and blunt nice and clean and a lot better than cutting it with the scissors but i i say you can trim your hair once every quarter so that's four times per year um depending on your hair needs if it's really damaged i always say just cut it away it will grow back if you have a lot of damaged hair the problem with keeping that is if you're going to see over time your hair break off um and you know you're not going to see a lot of progress a lot of length retention will be gone there so i would say try to maintain on a, on a schedule in line with your hair care routine and regimen regular trims Another great way to maintain length retention is through my hair growth challenges i have lots of hair growth challenges on this channel for one particular reason i know there's a lot of ladies out there that's feeling really lost that they can't grow their natural hair they feel alone and so i thought well, i'm going to do these challenges so that whatever week you are in in these mini braids and mini twists cornrow challenges you will have a friend here on youtube talking you through their experiences and giving you hints and tips indeed i've done a 21 week mini braid challenge it probably was longer than that so check out that longer playlist if you want to go onto that i give you tips and if you've never tried mini braids before of course you're going to take that step by step you're going to also maintain a good hair care regimen within these challenges but these challenges because your hair is spent majority of the time in protective style up to 21 weeks you know that's a good amount of growth and depending on how you treat your hair throughout that time you will be getting great length which tension so check out my hair growth challenges they're there to help you indeed to grow your natural hair long
Along with that is low manipulation. Once again, going back to the fact that our particular hair texture is very fragile. The more our hands is in our hair, the more we're likely to lose our hair. And so with those challenges, your hand is out of your hair a lot. You can also do jumbo twists. That's absolutely fine. Cornering your hair, wearing uh, wigs on top, or, you know, for a break from your natural hair is absolutely fine. But never neglect your natural hair underneath. Um, you know, you want to have lots of good styles. Buns as well are great to help you to prevent breakage and to promote good length retention. Once again, 2024 is about length retention, preserving the hair. We're going to do whatever it takes to get to our natural hair goals. Of course, this is God-given hair, and so we've got to learn how to take care of it. So just before my last tip then, just a reminder to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'm providing tons of motivation on how to grow your natural hair in 2024. As you've seen, I've never had long hair before. This is my before picture. And of course, my hair is nearly at waist length now. So if I can do it, you can do it. And I'm showing you all hair on Simply Chef. So, you know, grow your natural hair with me. Grow with Chef in 2024. And finally, YouTube is a great place to learn a lot of things. Indeed, people have built houses on watching YouTube videos. And so a lot of us get a good amount of hair growth, inspiration and advice from YouTube. But I always say take YouTube with a pinch of salt. Do not join every bandwagon. All of these mixtures about how to grow your natural hair in 24 hours is not true. And so when you're on YouTube, do take the information with a pinch of salt. Look for the authenticity in the content and think about it. Really think about the information that you consume. Can that herb really let your hair grow five inches in 24 hours? And if not, you know, if it doesn't logically make sense, don't do it. Also, a lot of the bandwagon, particularly the product bandwagon, a lot of those products that are being promoted are being paid for and the ingredients in them might not be suitable for your natural hair. So always be careful of bandwagons falling onto someone's hair regimen or the latest thing that they're doing to their hair because indeed that can actually break off your hair and go contrary to promoting hair growth or indeed having good length retention. Try to do your own research and try not to follow harmful practices to your natural hair because they can be ineffective to growing your natural hair out. So just one bonus final tip then. A lot of the ingredients in your kitchen, such as rosemary, and things that we consume are really, really good for length retention in our natural hair. So you want to look at the things that you ingest, you know, lots of the oils that we can do as DIY. Once again, I've got a DIY playlist for you to check that out. I'm also, you know, very much into using natural ingredients as much as possible to grow your natural hair. So there you have some length retention tips. Remember, hair growth and length retention is not the same thing. You know, length retention is about the amount of hair we manage to keep on our hair, preventing breakage and the amount of hair that we have left. Also, having a good amount of trims into your hair routine will help you to maintain length retention. Having low manipulation hairstyle, such as my challenges, will help you to grow your natural hair and also length retention because your hand is not in your hair, it also becomes a low manipulation. Having a consistent uh, regimen that works for you, that is set according to your schedule will help you with length retention. And also just, you know, learning your own hair care practices, accepting your hair for what it is. That was a big theme when I just started this channel to make sure that the ladies that are watching understand their own natural hair look in the mirror and see what you're seeing that is your hair it doesn't match any other texture that is out there on youtube and even if i'm saying 4b 4c my hair is quite unique so learning my own natural hair was one of the best things that i've done i'm actually still learning because patches change from time to time so accepting your natural hair for what it is working with it rather than against it you're going to see great growth in 2024 i want to say thank you so so much for watching today's video i hope you found it useful indeed if you did leave me a comment down below that really helps and that really motivates me to keep making these videos also give this video a like and also share it with a friend that you think will benefit tons of content here so they will not be disappointed thank you so so for watching thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video have a blessed blessed day